In this video, I'm just going to be going over what I did to get the third inning program done, how I got it done as fast as I did. Maybe you guys are going to be looking to get the programs done fast in the future or any tips here and there, things like that. That's what I'm going to hopefully be going over in this video. Going for 301 or more likes. Subscribe if y'all are new. Comment anything down below. On the road to 60,000 subscribers, if we hit that before June 1st, we're giving away $100. Feel free to follow on any of those social medias. Use code TWIN on Control Free. Com. Maybe in the comment section below, let me know which boss you guys are planning on taking or would take if you guys were to get this program done. And I just want to show you guys real quick, you know, just what's in the third inning program and everything like that. Just kind of where the rewards are and all that stuff. So we got a show pack, gear up choice pack, a uh, home run base celebration, nameplate, diamond lockable, a set 12 headliners. I'm going to be opening that. I think maybe tomorrow we'll have another pack opening. I have a few packs to open. Icon, another show pack. Also, there's some stubs uh, spread throughout around here. The third inning gold choice pack with one of these three players. I think I went ahead and chose Ken Griffey Sr. Uh, I'm probably going to end up with all three of them somehow at some point. And then we got no bunch cheese, home run audio, a prospect diamond choice pack. So prospects probably going to continue to dip down in price. There's a, uh, a one or two prospect packs on the conquest map i don't remember how many bond is a habit pack i'm saving that for now uh and then we got the you can't have any pudding home run call classic stadium pack red digital camo bat skin two show packs and then at 300 stars finally the boss choice pack and 500 stubs we got the shane victorino if you guys want to just pause it take a look at their attributes feel free we got shane victorino Center fielder, outfielder, switch hitter, all of them switch hitters. Uh, we got Brian Roberts right here, a not bad second baseman at all, especially for any of these if you prestige them too. There's going to be prestige versions in the player programs. And then Chipper Jones, uh, the one that if you guys missed it, I debuted earlier today. Pretty good card, man. Definitely a good card. And then in the rest of the program, if you guys want to check it out as well, there's five show packs, more stubs, more prospect pack, another one I should say, record scratch, set 13 headliners, and then three thousand stubs so what did i do to be one of the first i would say 20 25 people to get to 300 program stars what did i do to get it done so number one uh if you guys are ever trying to be like one of the first people ever to get it done you're gonna need the voucher you're gonna need that uh voucher so what you need to do like for this one i'll need to collect chipper jones shane victorino and man, I, I I keep I don't know why I keep I, I keep wanting to say Brian Anderson, not Brian Roberts. I keep blanking on that last name. I only got like three hours of sleep last night. Like I'm tired. My eyes are heavy. If I just closed them, I could I could fall asleep all of a sudden. So just bear with me. I'm a little bit tired while recording this, but wanted to make sure I got it done because uh, I do my videos like a day and head usually. So if you guys want to be one of the first people to get it done, get it done as fast as possible. You need to do the voucher, which gets you those 75 stars. And it's just done by collecting the three bosses from the previous program. So to get a 75 star head start on the fourth inning program, you'll need to collect Brian Roberts, Shane Victorino, and Chipper Jones, get the uh, fourth inning voucher, I believe it would be called. And I grinded hard trying to get five future stars because I thought there was going to be a collection for that, but it was breakout series. I was surprised to see, but his breakout series players was the extra, however many, was it 20? Yeah, extra 20. So I just happened to have it on hand and you know doing collections like that i think they're probably going to have one or two collections with every program that starts it uh and you might want to always be prepared however yo of course man two diamonds already so healy's now getting christian yells right now but uh you might want to be prepared however you never will know what the collection's going to be so it might just be good to have some of every type of card laying around i guess but the voucher if you guys are trying to be one of the first people to get it done definitely a big 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 head start that's necessary but it's not necessary to get to 300 stars in general so what i did and the order that i did my stuff in i always start with conquest because i'm just not a huge conquest fan it's just a little bit tedious for me time consuming and i don't really enjoy it so i start with conquest and get like my most boring or you know the thing that i want to do the least out of the way besides obviously grinding out those final stars which we'll talk about kind of towards the end what i did for that so I went ahead, did Conquest first. We'll go ahead and just check out the Conquest map real quick. It wasn't terrible, but it also, you know, I would say it was a little bit more tedious than others because you start here. And so what I did was I snaked up and went left and I took over the giant stronghold and then I, I moved my reinforcements and everything back up. Then I took over this stronghold and then I moved over here, took out this one. And I, I literally was just going across the map and snaking my way through the map and just taking the strongholds as I passed them. So I would take the Mets one and then go over here, take the Tigers. And I did that 
all the way until I was at the end and took the final one, the Cleveland Indians right there and i was finished with it so there's goals for these that you need to do to be able to get the 30 stars and i would say the hardest one the one that i always kind of forget about is the stealing fan so there's a steal fans phase uh you know right here and what you do is you need to steal three million fans so what i did i just do it on all star because I, I typically especially with the team i have uh have no problem beating the the cpu on all-star you guys might want to do a veteran and rookie if it's a little bit tougher for you but i went ahead played them on all-stars a three inning game and with the team that i had i was able to get that done pretty easily and steal the three million fans that i needed for that goal and then the rest of them was just literally taking the entire map and then there's some hidden packs in there as well i think there's five standard packs on the giants uh, i think maybe a ball and is a habit pack on the indians a prospect pack maybe somewhere so there's some hidden packs and everything xp stub stuff like that hidden across the map as always with the conquest maps for these programs so you definitely want to get conquest done you can get some packs some stubs some xp and an easy 30 points also in addition to these 30 program stars you're getting about one star per game so there's however many strongholds i think it was maybe like seven or eight so there's seven or eight more stars plus the steel fans game is another extra star so you're getting these 30 plus you're getting the star from playing the game because it's it, it's about from what i've heard and i'll talk about this more at, at the end when we talk about what i did to get the final stuff i think it's about one star per 2000 xp gameplay xp not mission xp we'll cover that later on so uh it's about one star per three innings when it averages out and everything so you can get some extra right there and the second thing that i did was showdown that's a big one the Innings, showdowns, the showdowns for the programs are huge. They're going to be giving you 70 every time, or at least they have so far. And I would say for me, this was probably the easiest one. And the main reason is there's only two boss battles. There's this one and the final one. And all these moments weren't that hard. So I think it might be like one, uh, one run for each of these, and then maybe two runs for each, each of these with a max of you being able to get up to 15 if you complete them all successfully. So it really wasn't super bad to get this showdown done um i don't know if it's all righty pitchers i think it might be future stars for the final bosses and i think the future stars pitchers are pretty much all righty so you might want to try to get some lefty power hitters if you can uh but i would say this showdown was definitely the easiest out of the first three innings so far and just really focus up wait for pitches down the middle try to get players that you maybe know you can do well with maybe some power if that's your thing stuff like that but definitely recommend doing the showdown that 70 is huge if you guys have like i had the voucher this 20 the conquest so right there 105 125 195 so just from doing these two collections conquest and showdown i was at 195 then i was over 200 because of the games during conquest and then there's dailies so these are big as well you can get these endings done while you're playing conquest you can get uh these exchanges done pretty easily so these are going to be big if you guys are able to get these done these are easy program stars to get and we'll just make it so you have to do a little bit less grinding to finish off the 300 and then there's other missions now if you're just trying to get this done in the next few days or something i would highly recommend just probably playing ranked seasons you know try to win 10 ranked games because then you're getting these two done at the same time and then you could maybe put a breakout player or two in your lineup and get those innings knocked out pretty quickly the innings it's only 12 or 14 and for 15 stars that's huge man definitely do the break if you guys have breakout series players definitely do the innings with them okay because it's an easy 15 uh it's not going to take super long especially if you have multiple players in your lineup and what i did was i used the breakout rob nen and then the breakout dave kingman i believe i put him in my event lineup and i won 10 event games and also got the innings done i got the innings done in two or three games so it really wasn't that bad so honestly then this is how it's been the entire year and I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning, but to sum it up and doing this, like doing all of this got me to, I would say around 260 or 70 program stars, maybe a little bit more. So I had to figure out a way to get those last 30, which I'm going to cover in just a sec, but do what they give you. Like they have missions. They have these missions and every, everything for you to do for a reason It's to earn program stars. So if you guys are looking for the most efficient way to do it, do what they have set up for you right because showdown 70 stars that's the that's by far the most stars you're going to get for the least amount of time spent especially if you're able to get it done on your first try so definitely do what they have laid out for you is my biggest tip for getting the program done and getting it done fast is doing what they have set out for you 
because that's honestly the fastest way to get it done but to get the final you know 40 30 20 however many program stars you need maybe you don't have the 30 in collection so you're sitting at about 230 program stars so what did i do to get that done now typically i guess i've only done it once before but on the second inning program i went ahead and played homer and derby because like i said i'm pretty sure it's about one star per 2000 gameplay xp so if you go to showdown you'll see that there's a lot of xp like there's 300 300 300 1000 right here so it's like oh well i could just do showdown over and over no these are mission xp so gameplay xp is like when you're in between innings in a ranked seasons game or in a home run derby when you hit a home run there's a little xp circle in the top left of your screen my bad there's that little xp circle in the top left of your screen and it says now for home run derby plus eight you're getting plus eight instead of plus 25 so that's why i would probably not recommend home run derby um but that's the gameplay xp it's not going to be from moments completing those not going to be from missions you can get xp during missions and from moments but like that 1000 for completing that boss and showdown that's not what i would consider gameplay xp the stars are only earned from that gameplay xp you can't do it from like getting the xp for missions or moments or whatever it may be it has to be that gameplay xp and i was trying everything man i played events i played ranked seasons i played battle royale i played home run derby i did a play now i did not go into retro mode because i don't really enjoy retro mode and i just felt like it would even be slow because i suck at it i remember i tried playing it uh when it first came in the game and i gave up home run after home run after home run so i didn't try that but i did events battle royale ranked seasons play versus cpu play now uh player lock play now and everything and what i found to be one of the fastest ways i don't know if this was the fastest this is what i ended up doing for like my last 10. uh i went ahead and did play versus cpu on a rookie difficulty and i started araldus chapman because he goes down to the stretch i started araldus chapman as my starter and he usually won six or seven innings for me and every top half of the inning because i was the home team so every top half of the inning i was getting i would say about 200 or 250 xp right there so i was getting two to three stars per game for this they were going pretty fast i think it only took me like uh you know maybe 15 or 20 minutes to get through the game so what i would do is i would just pitch it was on the easiest difficulty i would throw a high inside fastball outside fastball and then do a slider or just another fastball and i'm pretty sure you get more xp for more strikeouts but that is what i found to be the most efficient if you guys are watching and you you know grinded the program out and got it done fast or something and you have a good way to earn those final program stars definitely let me know because i'm all years i was i was having a, a tough time figuring out but what worked for me was playing versus cpu on rookie striking him out as much as possible while pitching and then when i was bunt uh when i was on offense i would just bunt the whole time and try to get it done as fast as possible so that's what i was doing just trying to get through those games as fast as possible because the real xp was coming from when i would strike on the hitter so that was my strategy to get those done and i'm curious if you guys had anything different but i was playing ranked seasons events battle royale and they just weren't going as fast for me as those play versus cpu games but then again the stars aren't always 100 percent accurate like it's not always three stars Per, per nine innings or two stars per nine innings it's it, it's it varies and everything and that's why i do think it's on xp rather than innings so i'm sorry if this was a long drawn out video i tried to explain the best i could i literally feel like i could just fall asleep right now man like my eyes are so heavy uh but i do my videos a day in advance i'm going to be out of the house a lot of the day today i'm going to be outside mowing lawns and stuff so i wanted to make sure that i was able to get this video done in time that i wanted it to be done for y'all i hope i hope it helped man i think it should help i hope it did i really hope it did if it did let me know let me know maybe strategies you guys have down in that comment section everything like comment subscribe i will see y'all next time hope you have a fantastic rest of your day i'm gonna get this video the first video of the day edited and scheduled and i am going to go to bed because i gotta get up in only a few hours man to go mow some lawns and everything so i'll see you next time i love y'all peace out